Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Minnesota Twins taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Along with Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me, as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure, baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that's so inspiring. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Corbin Burns. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, his main pitch is that cutter, and he will use it to jam guys, especially opposite-handed matchups. And then, you know, same-handed matchups, just trying to miss the barrel of the bat. He's just got to make sure that he doesn't start it over the heart of the Leading plate tonight, because then it can go right into the, the sweet spot eight. of the bat. When it's and right, here. it's got late horizontal yeah. movement. So he still has to mix in his other offerings. He can't just rely on that cutter. Otherwise, hitters will start diving at it. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. That oh, misses one. the zone, and now it's one even ball. one and one. one. The pitch. One. That misses. Two and one. Two ball. One straight. Down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Comes up empty as he chases that one in the dirt. Rutschman on the first. Gets him. Run away on a drop third strike. Very frustrating right there. As a speedy potential base runner. With two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Burns, a Northern California native, he was a fourth-round pick out of St. Mary's where he played alongside an outfielder who eventually made it to the majors. Yeah, that guy's name was Tony Gonsal and made it as a pitcher. That's the third. Two down. Oh. That is third. That is third. Now the lineup for the Twins as constructed by Rocco Baldelli. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Alex Kirilov. Boog, this is one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. I mean, he's such a consistent hitter. You've got to love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll get a chance to see that in this one. Here's Alex Kirilov. First oh. offering, and it just misses. Two outs, base is empty. Ball and two. another ball. Two balls, no strike. Wouldn't That's chase that time. And he walked That's him. The corner, ball four. Thank you, mate. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So all down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive oh. side of it. Manuel Margot, the next to hit, takes ball one. hit lead runner around second and now they'll have runners on the corners with two away well a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle we saw the numbers coming into the ball game but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win
This is Willie Castro. And that one fouled off. Runners on first and third, two away, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. strand a pair and now the O's will get their first crack at it no score you're dialed into the show back now at Oriole Park and towing the slab Pablo Lopez well he's got great stuff but what makes his stuff even better is his delivery hides the ball for a very long time high leg kick and by the time the hitter sees it it's right on top of him Bottom of the first. Here's the shortstop at the play. Gunnar Henderson. He's someone that you might not describe as having an elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Throw on to Santana. And a quick out number one. Time now to take a look at the Orioles lineup put together by manager Brandon Hyde. And an important bat for them, batting fifth in this one, Ryan Mountcastle. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat. Whatever he's got that bat in his hands, but for me, it's it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound, and when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, oh. so much consistency. That bat stays oh, in the no. zone for okay. a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. Yeah, the righty deals. Oh, Just missed. One out, base is empty. Out there to center. Jeffers calls it in, two away. That is good. No left field. Anthony. Anthony Santander at the plate. And a foul ball. Here in Baltimore, new inning getting started. The Got a batter now, Austin Martin. 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 In his rookie season, 25 years old, a former first round pick in 2020. Nope. And delivers That's outside. Next offering is in for a strike. Time to check on our umpires. Earl Hendricks calling balls and strikes. Yeah, well-liked umpire, Boo. Pretty consistent with his zone, so if you're familiar with him and how he works, you won't get too surprised by anything. Sometimes he'll give a little bit off the corner, but nothing too crazy at all. 
That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. Burns with a move to first, and he's back in on a dive. This might be a steal situation, but that's not your average catcher behind the dish. You have to be careful here. Just off the inside edge. The one -oh. On the ground, a second might be two. Flips it for one. On the first, double play. What a nice double play to him right there. And it all started with that sweet glove clip on the feed the second. You know, these middle infielders, they spend a lot of time honing that glove work, so it just becomes like second nature. I think you also have to have a really good glove that's broken in that's not too large so that you can have a feel for that baseball and be able to flip it like you're barehanded. Here's Christian Vasquez. No, that's and that ball. one just misses a ball and no strikes. No score here in the second. And a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Two Falling and behind two and one. right there three Take one and he couldn't come up with it well he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot the hitter enough. didn't offer at it now he has somebody to worry about uh, over at first Kyle Farmer up to the plate now swing and a miss strike one Two outs. And that one fouled off. Goes down looking. One hit, one left. Down to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Ryan O'Hearn. The right-hander back to work. And takes low for ball one. Now this is in the air down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Really nice swing as he gave that one a ride the opposite way, but it sliced just foul down into the corner. That had extra bases written all over it if it stayed fair. in a fastball at 95. Oh. And another ball. And Pablo Lopez will deliver. Caught him looking for the K. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. 
Right through there for a strike. Riding to the plate. Not well, even close there. And that's ball one. There's a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, the catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. Stays alive. And a one-two. Oh. Just misses with that one. It's a good take. Down, base is empty. Hammer, base hit. That is good. Good. The right field. One, One gone good. runner at first. Here's the rookie right fielder, Colton Kowser. First pitch misses for ball one. And that drops in for a strike. It's in there. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The one, two. Double play ball to second. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Well, there's a lot riding on that, that, that right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. Good power. Not great in the OVP department. Kowser off of first with two away. Oh. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. Oh, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity, try to get a rollover, something on the ground, stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. And he swings through that one. one Spin ball. rates outstanding on that high fastball. Really tough to hit. Next offering misses down and away. The pitch. Up the middle. Gets to it with a slide. Throw to second. Pretty nice play there. One left for the Orioles. We move to the third with no score. Back to work. And a foul ball left side. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. And the count is 0 and 2. Top of the order, Speedster. You'd really like to see him work his way on. He can get around the bases in a hurry, but a little too aggressive, maybe a little anxious. Owen Chu now. That one to first. Mount Castle. And he handles it himself for the out. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. So up next for Minnesota, Brian Jeffers. Grounded out his first time. Oh. 
And here's the strike. Next pitch is outside. One ball, one strike. Hard ground ball, base nine. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hurt. And next is the designated hitter, Alex Kirilov. He reached out a walk his first time. Oh. Just missed. With the go-ahead run at first, we're here in the top half of inning number three. The next pitch misses, 2-0. and oh. Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Kicks and deals. That one off the mark, and it's three and two. Manuel Margot getting on deck circle. Three two now. And ball four, two aboard. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to oh, challenge the, the guy with the fastball. The right field. Manuel Margot Manuel. up to the plate. Margot. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. There's the strike. At the dish, looking to look the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boot. One out. Runners at first and second. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Just off the inside corner. Now one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. In the dirt. Nothing happening on the bases, though. Two on, one out. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Hit on the ground might be two. And that chance handled. Tosses the first. He's out. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a knock, but at the end of the day, it's a good bat. And now for the Twins, Willie Castro. 0 for 1 with a fly out. In the air, left field. Santander in pursuit. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that's the third out. Twin strand a pair. And we are still scoreless. Bottom of the inning. And go. stepping whoa, in whoa, whoa. is the speedy Jordan Westberg. The line to kick the pitch. Fastball for a strike. 1 1. Just missed. 
Here's a 1-1. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Jackson Holliday, the next to hit for the Orioles. Ground ball to the right side. Santana takes it himself, and a couple of quick outs. Up next to the Orioles. So next to hit for Baltimore, Gunnar Henderson. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. No ball. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. On the ground to third. Throw on to Santana. And the Orioles set down in order. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Three innings complete. No score. And we're back. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Austin Martin. And a pitch. And there's a ball. Well, these ball. twins okay. showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. They've worked three walks already, so that proves they're not anxious up there. They're sticking to their game plan, and it's working. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. And a one-two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And a pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. This one in the air right field. Kowser has this one sized up. And there's one down. Next to switch hitting first baseman, Carlos Santana. Oh for one so far. Foul ball there. Skips in the dirt. 21. Next no. offering upstairs. Right through there for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And another ball. Three, two. And that's ball four. Well, he's been in a very giving mood today. Now that. Christian Vasquez, the hitter, worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. the move swing and he breaks his back in plenty of time to first no chance at the double play with the runner in motion well that actually works out for the hitter if it's not a broken bat it's hard enough for the double play but with the slower roller the defense does a nice job at least getting one out of it now here is Kyle Farmer Struck out looking at his first at bat. 
gets the outside corner with that one. stands out you come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him we're probably not going to steal one anything ball, today so that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits some slugs some home runs can come into play and that one wrapped foul well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. You can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary. Boy, this type of guy shuts the running game down. That's a pretty nasty pitch right there. I call it a power curveball in the 80s. It's got so much spin on it, and you really don't have a lot of time to sit back and watch what it's going to do before you have to commit. It was a good one for this one. And strike out. Santander stands in now and watches strike one. Here comes the 0 1. That one fouled off. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. down base is empty foul ball left side he'll see another right hander kicks deals foul ball it stays nothing in two the line of the pitch and the curve misses outside Struck him out. Now that Ryan O'Hearn comes up to him. Went down on strikes his first time through. and pick up a run. And that's off the inside edge. One and, one. and the count even one and one. Oh. And that one cutting but missing down low. Oh. 
in for a strike. It's two and two. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. And here it comes. And okay. that's in the dirt. And the count's full. a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him on base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. And now, Brian Jeffers. Oh. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. The one oh. One ball. All one tied strike. up, and we're at the top of the fifth. Inside oh, just play. missed. Oh, and that one right. hit 97 on the gun. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3-1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. One down, base is empty. And there's Take ball four. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Substitution now at first base. On a pinch run, Byron Buxton. Alex Kirilov, the next to hit. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. Yeah, that's outside. 1-0. with a move to first. Buxton back in there. Buxton at first, one gone. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. For a second. Tag. And they got it. It doesn't show you stealing the base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big-time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Downstairs. Fouls one off. Two and two. And another ball. Manuel Marco next to bat for Minnesota. Two down, nobody on. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. So they've been held scoreless through five. And we still have no score. Now into the ball game on defense, Byron Buxton. He'll be patrolling center field. And into the box for Leading Baltimore, off. Ryan Mountcastle. The first base batter, he's known for performing better in these night games. He might start two for two in this one. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. Here's your one. 
And there's the strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. And the righty deals. Pitch misses there. Now one and two. Down to the dirt, swing and a miss. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a moving slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. And now here is Colton Kowser. There's a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. And the right hater deals. Strike two. Not sure if he could be in more of a group. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. One outside, gonna count one, one and two. Straight. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, right now he's in cruise control, autopilot, just now dominating these hitters. It doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you can come into awe of this guy in the mound. Somebody's gotta break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Gotta put a ball in play. And now it's gonna be Cedric Mullins. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Two outs. That one in the dirt, and that is ball one. Inside corner for a strike. One and two. Swings and misses, and it's a three-up, three-down inning. Three-up, three-down for the Orioles. Sixth inning coming up, still nothing on the scoreboard. And we're back, and here is Manuel Margot. Manuel Margot. Burns back to work. Oh, Up and oh, in, ball one. What a note. Oh. A big swing and a miss. Well, you one can't ball. really judge your game three. plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. This one high in the air to left center. Mullins settles under it. And there's one down. Now that Willie Castro digs in now. There's a strike. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Strike two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Here's a one-two. Bows that off to the left, and we'll do it again. missing inside just missed with a good breaking ball in looking for that hitter to chase and perhaps get some weak contact or a swing and miss good job on both sides Circle for the Twins. 
Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it, as you can see. The hitter just locked up a little bit. Now it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else, and you can't pull the trigger. So two down now, and here is Austin Martin, one for two. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still 0-2. And a pitch. And down one strikes he goes. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. No score. And into the box for Baltimore, Jordan Westbrook. The line to the pitch. And that's outside. And that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. The one one. Swing and a high fly ball. it in on the warning track man I love that route the ball was smoked he knew he had to get back to the track right away turned his back on the infield got to the spot turned around and made a nice catch and a base hit on the line and now the lineup turns over with one away two hits allowed so far tonight Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum all that much you know he's really been on top of his game commanding his pitches all night long making a move at first entering is the pinch runner Jorge Mateo so the lineup flips over Gunnar Henderson the next to hit for the Orioles well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down. Hold the ball a little bit. Step off. Just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. And he deals. This is one of those situations okay. defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. With the winning run on at first, here in the bottom of the sixth, it's looking, that's away. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. And it's 2-1. Well, he came right at him right there. Challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence booster on the mound. You're in that hitter's head a little bit. Two and two. Hard ground ball. Base down. 
Lead runner touches second, headed for third. And now a wide throw to third. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now just one swing away from potentially walking this thing off. Now the Orioles catcher, Adley Rutschman. Nope. That's outside, that's right. and that's ball one. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. For the Twins, no run, three hits, no errors. They left six runners on base. Time of the ball game: a swift two hours and 19 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home safely.